like I said in the overview for backing up WordPress, um, I use plugins, and I use one in particular, and it's WP Twin. Um, it was written or co-written by a couple of friends of mine, um, Will Matos, who's an IT genius, and Jason Fladlin, Fladlin who's a master internet mar marketer. Um, these guys, when they put out a plug-in or some kind of software, you're, you, you know it's going to work. So I stand behind this fully. Um, I'm going to give you a link here in a minute. Um, it is an affiliate link. If you buy the product um, through my affiliate link, I will get a commission, just FYI. Um, but I love WP Twin. So let's go take a look at WP Twin real quick. This is the website. Um, I'll tell you the URL, the special URL you can use to uh, get this. Um, but basically they're saying clone a WordPress blog in under 57 seconds. Um, how it works. They give you a full tutorial once you buy the product. Then, so you create your clone, you deploy your clone to restore it. Um, it's f a phenomenal product. I love it. I use it every day because I make you know websites all the time. So let me just show you how to do this part, create your clone, because I want to do that for this website. So log into your FTP client, go to your WP content um, folder, and then your plugins folder, and then go find, now you'll, you will have had to buy this first, go find your wptwin.php um, file. I, I'm sorry, you actually need to go to the root of your uh, domain. Drag that into the root. Now the trick with this is you actually have to be logged in to your dashboard in order for this to work. And then what you do is you change your URL to your domain forward slash wptwin.php and you hit enter. And this form basically walks you through the entire thing. Now, if you just have a website there and no like additional folders that you've stored at your FTP site, don't click this box. And it tells you not to click that box unless you really know what you're doing. Then click the button below to clone the site. And it literally takes, you know, a minute or two to clone an entire site. Even a big one might take no more than five minutes. So there it is. What you can do now is click on this link, save it. There it is. I have a complete clone of both the files and the database that are necessary to make WordPress run for this website. When you're done to, to eliminate you know, storage space, delete the clone. That deletes it off the server, and you're done. Okay, that's pretty simple. Um, going back here, there's Backup Buddy, which is another plugin for WordPress. It's a premium plugin as well. I don't have an affiliate relationship with them, but I've heard nothing but good things about Backup Buddy. And it looks like this. So here's their website. They can do the backups, the restores, and the migrates just like WP Twin. Um, it's a little pricier. If you want two sites, it's $75. Ten sites, it's 100 bucks, Or unlimited sites, it's 150 I think WP Twin is just unlimited for like 97 bucks. Yeah, unlimited for 97 bucks. Um, but Backup Buddy is great. I, I would not ever hesitate to recommend that, except it, it costs a little bit more if you want to protect all, your, all of your sites. There is a free alternative, and I haven't used it. Full disclosure, I have not used it. It's called XCloner, and you can get it for free from WordPress.org. I'll be flashing that URL up here in a minute. And you install it just like you install any other plugin, and you use it according to the instructions um, shown. Um, basically, you do the same thing as you do in WP Twin. Um, you generate 
a backup, you store the backup, you save the backup, you move the backup and the restore script um, to a new, loca new location if you want to redeploy the clone, and you run the script. That, that's about it. Um, so that's your free backup. The last thing I want to mention is you can do a manual backup. It's not that hard. It's just not a one, you know, a one button click kind of thing. So what you have to do is it's probably best to go to your FTP client and copy all of these folders and all of the contents within them and then go to your cPanel and go to your my PHP admin which is the database administrating uh, administrative tool within your cPanel and do a backup of the database that is why way back up here I told you to record your database information if you have more than a couple sites you will not remember your database name or your username or your password so you will need all of those things in order to back up your database alright so that's it it's very important to back up your database and your files um, if you don't you've you're gonna have a lot of grief trying to restore that thing um, from backups at your host which they pro they may not have a backup of your database they may not have a current backup of your files um, it's just gonna be a real hassle if you can ever get any of your data back so that's it for backing up we'll talk to you in the next video